Hey everyone, I'm Joshua Slack, also known as Renate out there on the forums. And today I'm going to show you a Left 4 Dead level loaded into an ordinary web browser. We're going to be using some JavaScript, some WebGL, and a 3D graphics engine known as the Goo Engine. Our Goo Engine evolved from the Ardor 3D graphics engine, which was a desktop engine. And the Goo Engine primarily focuses on the mobile and desktop browser space. So it runs in a, in a browser without the aid of any plugins whatsoever. Very exciting. Let's go take a look. All right, so what we have here is the contents of a Chrome window is captured by Fraps. I'm going to start by loading a smaller tutorial map. We'll be capturing at 30 frames per second. The actual frame rate of the demo is usually in the 60 frames per second plus or minus range on my uh, three or four year old Vista machine here. It kind of dips down in more complex scenes. Uh, note that the demo grabs all of the map geometry, HDR lighting, ambient cube maps, uh, sky information, bump map textures, and so forth, and shoves them through the Goo Engine. On the performance side, I'm only doing view frustum culling, uh, BSP visibility culling, and some light map uh, texture atlasing. I'm not yet using some of the map hints that Valve puts in there for uh, like fading distance, fog, or portal culling. So we're probably doing a lot of drawing that the real game is able to cut out. Uh, unfortunately, like my previous Ardor 3D version, I'm doing this largely in my free time over the past few weeks, so I've sort of had to pick and choose what I wanted to tackle. All right, so you can see here this tutorial level, I'm already kind of flying around. I'll just walk you around a little bit more. You can see that the lighting is uh, sort of overblown in certain areas. I have a, do have this uh, very simply implemented Reinhard uh, based tone mapping shader, which you can toggle via the keyboard here. Valve does a more complex time and histogram based approach, which I'm positive could also be done in WebGL, but again, I've had limited time here. So just fly around a little bit more. I actually kind of like it with the uh, overblown light maps. All right, so you kind of get an idea. Now let's try loading a larger level. We'll load the first level of the Mercy Hospital mission in Left 4 Dead. Now I've used this a lot for snapshots and videos in the past, and it offers a lot of good detail to fly around and look at from every angle. So let's go to it. All right, this level takes uh, about, I don't know, two minutes or so to load. Most of that time is probably because it's all single-threaded aside from HTTP requests for resources and so forth. I'm also pulling the data directly from the VPK, uh, VMT, VTF, and other such binary files from the Steam directory on my computer. And I'm interpreting them on the fly using JavaScript directly in the browser. And if I was making a real game like this, I'd probably pre-process a lot of the information and package it in a little bit more digestible format for the browser. But since I want to let other folks try this out someday soon, I can't really redistribute the game assets, so this way it worked. All right, let's use the magic power of editing to speed this load up. All right, so here we are in the first level of the Mercy Hospital campaign. And what you can see right away is some HDR light maps. You can see the skybox texturing. Uh, we can see the 3D skybox off in the distance, these three towers. And these darker buildings in the back here and there's some other nice things like you know some bump mapping going on on the walls and there's some ammo and stuff like that so let's head on downstairs we got some geometry that's uh, it's being loaded it probably is actually an, uh, it's supposed to be an invisible indicator of something maybe water or uh, or the flies buzzing around or something like that here we are in the overblown lit kitchen. Get that tone mapper back on. You can see, got a lot of the geometry. All the coloring is fairly well balanced. Um, it would look nicer with all of the nice tone mapping that uh, that Valve does. Look out the window at the back alley there. And speaking of windows, that's where this map has a lot of um, additional information that we're not using. For example. 
this, these would be portals and the further away you got from them, they would close so you can't, you wouldn't actually render what's on the other side of them. It would save us a lot of rendering time. All right, so we'll move through. Let's head downstairs here. Now in the Ardor 3D base version of this map, uh, or this viewer, I mean, we actually show overlays, which would show nice things like uh, the door jam or maybe some additional pictures. Um, but I haven't actually ported that over yet. So I would have some additional wall sockets and things like that. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with what uh, I've been able to cram into WebGL so far. Again, this is running at uh, you know 30 to 60 frames per second. I get some occasional hitches when I get something on the screen for the first time that hasn't had its texture loaded into the uh, video card yet. Um, and that's mostly because I'm not preloading textures or doing some other things like that that could potentially help. All right, so we'll head in the back here. Now you'll notice some lighting like this that should go along with some particle effects, some, fly, some fire reaching out of that barrel there. And there's also a couple other things that I'd like to load in eventually, like the light cones on the front of these vehicles, the police car there and the, the big rig over there. All right, so let's take a peek in here. Another thing that I'd like to figure out one day is why in the world does this medical camera, ca cabinet rather, never lie flush with the wall? I haven't been able to figure that out on either version of this. head here to the end. Now eventually I'd like to release this to the public. Again, since this only uses the Left 4 Dead assets that are actually installed by you via your Steam account on your own computer, um, I should be able to do that. I just need to check with the guys over at uh, Goo Technologies first, make sure they're happy with that. And uh, I've also been able to load Portal 2 maps, uh, Left 4 Dead 2 maps. Um, not everything, mind you, but uh, but a good chunk of the stuff. Um, I believe I could also load some of the older Valve properties like Team Fortress 2. I just need to crack open the GCF files or go the lazy way and have uh, GCF Scape do it for me. Um, but all in all, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen here. And uh, until next time.